are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Now, guys, we do very, very few videos on high school sports on this channel, but usually when we actually make a video on a high school sport, it is not very good news. So that brings us to high school basketball in Massachusetts, where a high school basketball player has been arrested and charged with a crime during a basketball game, guys. This is crazy. I actually found out about this yesterday. And we got more details here in this Daily Caller article here. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Massachusetts team jailed after sucker punching ref during basketball game. Now, when I saw this the other day, I thought it was just one punch. But once we actually read this article, folks, it's more than just one punch. This basketball player just continued to assault the referee. Let's read this guy. a Boston High School basketball player has been charged with assault and battery after sucker punching a referee during a basketball game Wednesday night. The 16-year-old Itzel high school student was taken into custody after allegedly striking the referee in the face. He reportedly thought he was being charged with another foul, and the referee called the other team for traveling, Boston 25 News reported. Photographer Dan Leahy witnessed the full Nelson on the referee telling Boston 25 that once the team uh, brought the victim down with one punch, he continued the attack. So he did not stop after that one punch and knocked the guy out. It says here, even as the uh, ref was bent over and unable to defend himself, a uh, quote, there's so much anger built into uh, the assault an authoritative figure in that manner. And it was vicious, not like he went up and bumped him or anything like that. He went at him with a full fist. It's a shame, Leahy added. The Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association responded to the assault, stating, uh, quote, there's no place for violence or physical anger in sports. Our schools work to develop young athletes within the structure of inter interscholastic competition our students play the game for the love of sport. Behaviors that run contrary to this have no place in our athletic fields, courts, or hockey rinks. In a statement, the Massachusetts State Basketball Officials Association expressed their anger at the incident, alleging that abhorrent treatment of officials by fans, coaches, and players is a main reason for the nationwide shortage of game officials. Uh, quote, we call on the local authorities, Boston Public Schools and the MIAA to take swift action that includes appropriate punishment for anyone sharing in the responsibility for this dangerous attack. Unfortunately, the displeasure and outright anger directed at officials has risen to a completely unacceptable level, which can result in an attack like the one in Cohasset. That is wrong and must be addressed. The statement read per Boston 25 News. The teen is scheduled to appear in Quincy Juvenile Court on a charge of assault and battery sometime in the future. So there you have it, guys. And uh, if this actually happened in uh, New York, because uh, New York State now actually has. Um, I know this is New York State, but New York State actually has a new law where they're not going to prosecute minors under the age of 12, no matter what the crime is. Unless it's murder. So in New York, they're going to make crime even worse. Now, this is Massachusetts. We will see what happens. But I just wanted to let you guys know that this is completely nuts. I mean, the referee didn't even charge him with a foul. It was actually a travel on the other team. And this kid just lost it. Sucker punches him and just keeps going at this referee. This kid definitely needs to be taught a lesson. He definitely should be removed from the basketball team. And this kid definitely needs to be re rehabilitated. I mean, this is just crazy, guys. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.
Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.